So the geopolitical uh, risk premium in crude markets has edged up uh, over the last few weeks with events both in, in Russia uh, and in the Middle East. But our assessment is that the geopolitical risk premium is still not very elevated, significantly lower than it was, for instance, in October of, of last year, and much lower than what it was in 2022 when the, the war in Ukraine, Ukraine started. Uh, that observation is based on the fact that the cost of insuring against very large spikes in oil prices uh, is not very, very elevated. I think the geopolitical risk premium remains modest because disruptions to crude production have remained very limited. Uh, we are now seeing some significant disruptions to refined product supply in Russia following Ukrainian drone attacks. But in crude markets, uh, including, for instance, a country like Iran, crude production continues. All right, so Don, what you're basically saying is uh, the spike we're seeing, we're up at about five month highs on Brent right now, is not so much driven by the supply side, it's more demand uh, pull because we've got manufacturing in the U.S., even, even in China, uh, starting to look up. Yeah, absolutely. I think the whole commodity complex uh, is performing well year to date, both oil and industrial metals, because the market is converging to our view that global growth and commodities demand are coming in stronger uh, than widely believed at the start uh, of the year. Uh, in addition to that, I, I do think that um, positioning uh, and valuation measures in oil markets have increased a lot. Just one number, uh, year to date, now money managers have bought about 400 million barrels uh, of paper barrels of oil futures. And so that's pushing up prices uh, quite a bit. We think that oil prices have moved from significantly underpriced, undervalued at the start of the year to now slightly uh, overvalued, which is the key reason why we look for price consolidation for here, despite pretty bullish demand views we have for the oil market. Price consolidation from here. Uh, what then, uh, Dan, that's interesting perspective. What is the appropriate policy path for OPEC uh, plus in terms of managing this market? And is there a risk that we could see $100 a barrel plus oil again? Yes, yeah, so I do think that the key upset risk to our forecast of range bound crude prices in the in the in the high 80s for Brent is indeed a more a uh, hawkish OPEC plus uh, supply reaction function. Our base case is that OPEC steps in at the June meeting uh, and rebalances the market by raising production by just over a million barrels per day. Because number one, spare capacity is very elevated. And number two, we think that prices are now reaching OPEC uh, sweet spot levels. If you go significantly above current levels, I do think that you incentivize US producers to ramp up production very quickly, which would lead to additional OPEC plus uh, market share losses. So I think that the current price level, the current level of inventories uh, are all, and the current level of spare capacity are all suggesting that OPEC is going to gradually rebalance the market by raising production, but it's a close call. And so I think the key upside risk indeed uh, is that uh, you know, OPEC plus supply stays lower for longer. 